Hello! Today we'll be detailing how to set up our Kilnade app for use with a kiln. We'll also detail how to add a kiln controller to the app. So first, we'll have to install the app. The app is available on both iOS and Android stores, but I'll demonstrate the process on an Android. So first, open up your store of choice. In this case, it'll be the Google Play Store. Now up at the top, you'll want to type in the name of the app, Kilnade. So I already have it auto-filled here, so we'll go ahead and type that in. And you'll see Bartlett Kilnade shows up at the top. Go ahead and select that. Now, if you haven't had the app installed already, this should say install or something along the lines of, of that, uh, depending on what store you're on. So we're going to pretend I just pressed that, and you'll see the app should show up somewhere on your home screen or wherever new installed apps show up. So let's just pretend I just installed it, and we're going to go ahead and open up the app. There will be a loading screen at the start, and then we'll get to the login screen. Now what you'll probably notice here is that there is no option to sign up if you don't already have an account. So if you do have an account, go ahead and sign in, uh, and you can skip this next step. But if you don't have an account, we'll need to make an account, which you can use our a web browser either on a phone or a tablet or a computer to do so. So we're going to go ahead and use Chrome on mobile. Open that up. And oh, I'm already at the page, but we're going to reset it so we can show you the process. So first you're going to want to go to our website. It'll be, uh, we'll type it in off to the side. It's a little hard to do that through the screen. So there's our page. It's all typed in. Go there. This is our page on mobile. Uh, if you're on a desktop computer, it'll look a little bit different, but either way, there should be a login button at the top right. Um, if you are on mobile, you'll have to click this to get a drop-down menu, and there's the login button. So, oh, I'll take that out. All right, doesn't really matter, actually, um, because what we're doing is signing up. Uh, if you already have an account, you can log in here, um, but we're going to go ahead and press sign up, and here we have... Uh, the sign-in page, you can go ahead and just type in your email, your name, last name, and a password. It will, just to save you some time, you will need a password that is above 12 characters. Then you can go ahead and press the CAPTCHA and sign up. Now, um, what's not going to be shown in this video is how to uh, confirm your account. Um, but before using your account in the app, you will need to navigate to the email that you used here. And uh, you should have an email from um, a Megan Wagner. Um, it's an official email from Bartlett. Um, and you will have to follow the instructions in that email uh, to confirm your address. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, but if you are unable to receive the email, if you don't get it within 10 minutes, you'll want to make sure to check that your email is the right one. Um, and if not, you can contact us. Uh, if it was and you're still not receiving an email, I would contact us for support. Um, but once you have your email confirmed, you can go to the login page, and I think the link in the email actually brings you to the login page, and you can log in. Um, and let's see here, it actually says, currently this login is for customers with our Kilnade app, so you know you're in the right place. Um, so once you have your account, you can go back to the app. So we'll go there, back to Kilnade, and you can log in type this in and then copy paste my password because you don't need that and we'll log in you can also there's a remember me option if you want to save time in the future and now here we will be able to add our kiln so you press that and then there's three blanks you have the kiln name uh, you have the serial number and a Mac address and to get this information, well, the kill name you can name whatever you want, um, but then the rest of it will have to come from the uh, your actual controller. So we will go there now, and it's right here. So as you can see, we were looking for a serial number and a MAC address. So in order to access that on your Genesis controller, um, from the home screen, we'll press Menu. Uh, data Menu is what's next. And then you'll be able to scroll all the way down to the bottom for Kiln Info. And now here we have our serial number and our MAC address right there. 
Um, an important thing to note is that if you are not connected to a wireless network, um, like I am on this one, um, your MAC address will not show up. It will just be blank. Uh, and remember that in order to connect to a network, you can go to configuration, communications, and then Wi-Fi setup. Um, and then you'll have to enter your password and, and uh, then you'll have an, a MAC address will show up as soon as you're connected there. So we'll go back there, click on info, and we've got our information for use in the app. So we'll go back there. Uh, you can name the kiln whatever you want. I'm just going to name it a generic name, um, Genesis. And then we'll have to type in the serial number. So we can do that. Alright, so I think we've got it right. Yep, looks right. So now we can go ahead and press add kiln. And hopefully, uh, kiln will show up. There it is. So go ahead and press Genesis up at the top. Uh, right now we can see it's idle. There's uh, what program it is set to. Let's see if all that's right. We are indeed on a glaze program at 75 degrees. Um, there's no firing time, so that shows zero. And then we have the last time it updated, which should be so that it was about a minute ago it updates every minute i believe and then uh, we'll also see that if we for example start a process and there are start code now in a minute uh, as soon as that clock goes to uh, 1234 it should show that we are firing as soon as it gets past this check all phase Let's see if that works But uh, that was pretty much the process. Um, as you can see, we do have the, the kiln all set up, um, logged in with the right information, all connected to the kiln, and there it did update to firing. Um, 75, and it even shows the segment once it's firing. Let's see, segment one of six, one of six. Oh, and then uh, it looks like you can keep the screen awake too for your phone. All right, and that's about it. Uh, remember that uh, we have, for, for like a quick refresher or to look at any other processes, we do have um, a manual online for the Genesis. Um, and then remember to like our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter or Instagram for the latest updates and information. Uh, we also have an e-newsletter for other information and tips. And you can see many other tutorials on our YouTube channel for other issues that you might have. Thanks for watching.